Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, Learn Electrical Engineering 1 to 1 pod. Hello viewers, till now we have seen how to find the transfer function in various methods. Today we will start learning the topic synchros. Synchros is nothing but inductive devices working on the principle of transformer induction machine and this is a combination of synchro transmitter and synchro control transformer so to control the angular position of the load from a remote place and for automatic correction of changes due to disturbances in the angular position of the load. For that purpose we will be opting synchros. This synchro pair would compare two angular displacements and that particular Difference is measured in terms of output voltage that is in linear relationship with the angular difference of the axis of the both shafts. Now we will start learning synchro transmitter. This synchro transmitter we have a stator and a rotor and the stator is identical to a stator of three phase alternator and this is a concentric type with axis of 3 coils 120 degrees apart and here this is a rotor and the ends of the rotor winding are terminated on two slit rings here and the input is single phase AC. The working principle of the synchro transmitter is when the rotor is excited by AC voltage here the rotor current flows magnetic field is produced. The rotor magnetic field induces an EMF in the stator coils by transformer action. The effective voltage induced in any of the stator coil depends upon the angular position of the coil axis with respect to rotor axis. This is the principle of synchro transmitter. Let's see terms. ER is nothing but instantaneous value of AC voltage applied to the rotor. And ES1, ES2, ES3 are instantaneous value of EMF induced in stator coils S1, S2 and S3 with respect to neutral. And ER is maximum value of rotor excitation voltage. Omega is nothing but angular frequency of rotor excitation voltage. KT is not, nothing but turns ratio of stator at rotor windings. Kc is coupling coefficient and theta is the angular displacement of rotor with respect to reference. The instantaneous value of excitation voltage Er is equal to Er into sin omega t. Here when rotor rotates in anti-clockwise direction by an angle theta EMFs are induced in state of coils and the frequency of induced EMF is same as of that of rotor frequency. Now induced EMF in stator coil equal to KT into KC into ER into sin omega T. KC is a function of rotor angular position. Let E S2 be the reference vector. When theta equal to 0, here when theta equal to 0, the flux linkage of coil S2 will be maximum. And when theta equal to 90 degrees, the flux linkage of coil S2 is 0. The flux linkage of coil S2 is a function of cos theta. Kc equal to K1 into cos theta for coil S2. The flux linkage will be 
maximum for coil S3 after rotation of 120 degrees in anticlockwise direction and that of S1 for 240 degrees rotation. Coupling coefficient for coil S2 equal to K1 into cos theta and for S3 this K1 into cos of theta minus 120 and for S1 it's K1 into cos of theta minus 240. With these and the data above we will start writing the expression for EMFs of stator coils. EMF of stator coils with respect to neutral that is ES2 equal to KT into K1 to cos theta ER sin omega t k into er cos theta sin omega t es3 equal to kt into k1 cos of theta minus 120 er sin omega t that is equal to K into ER cos of theta minus 120 degrees sin omega for ES1 that is KT into K1 into cos of theta minus 240 degrees sin omega t that is nothing but K into ER into cos of theta minus 40 degrees sin omega t where k is nothing but kt into k once we have done writing the expressions for emf of stator coils with respect to neutral here now we will write coil to coil emf equations here this is the reference figure for this now you are supposed to find out ES1, S2 between the coils ES2, S3 and ES3, S1. Now we will be applying KVL here that is ES1, S2 equal to ES1 minus ES2 and ES2, S3 equal to ES2 minus ES3 and ES S1 equal to ES3 minus ES1. Let's find out these three voltages. ES1 S2 equal to ES1 minus ES2 equal to substituting these expressions here. That is K into ER into cos of theta minus 240 degrees sin omega t minus k into er cos theta sin omega t k er taking as common cos expanding this cos theta cos 240 degrees plus sin theta plus sorry sin 240 minus cos theta into sin omega t. Substituting the values here k into er into cos theta cos 240 is minus 0.5 plus sin theta sin 240 is nothing but minus root 3 by 2 minus cos theta into sin omega 0.5 is minus half taking 3 common here k into er into sin theta minus 1 by half root 3 is common so left with minus 1 by 2 plus cos theta minus root 3 by 2 
into sine omega t minus half cos theta and minus cos theta minus 3 by 2 cos theta taking root 3 common you are left with minus root 3 by 2 this would be root 3 into k into er into sin theta cos 240 plus cos theta sin 240 is into sin omega t then root 3 k into er sin theta plus 240 degrees sin omega t this is the expression for coil to coil emf that is es1 s2 likewise you can solve for es2 s3 and es3 s1 similarly we get es2 s3 by substituting and again solving the similar way we get root 3 k into er sin theta plus 120 sin omega t s3 s1 we get root 3 k into er sin theta sin omega t in exam point of view you have to solve all the three expression here when theta equal to 0 you can say maximum emf is induced in coil s2 but when you see from these equations coil to coil voltage equations it's observed that e s3 s1 would be zero if theta is zero whereas you can see maximum emf is induced in coil s2 this position of the rotor can count as electrical zero of the transmitter and this electrical zero position is used as reference for specifying the angular position of the rotor the input to the synchro transmitter is the angular position of its rotor shaft and the output is set of uh, coil to coil voltages so by measuring the set of voltage at the stator terminals so i can possibly identify the angular position of the rotor this is how the synchro transmitter works and ahead we will see synchro control transformer thank you for watching if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe stay tuned for more videos